Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Shalindo, and today we're playing a game called Scraps. Scraps was released onto Early Access uh, as of July 7, 2015, and it is uh, still very much in the early in-development release. Early Access means it's still in development, so there's a lot to be done in this game. Um, they'll be adding to it as they go along. So, uh, according to their Steam uh, page, Scraps is a vehicle combat game where you can build your vehicle from functional parts with design as your ally and physics as your accomplice. Wow, that sounds interesting. Uh, <laughs> compete against a human or AI opponents in a combat arena and scavenge from their wreckage to repair and upgrade your own creation. So, we're going to start with just, uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, load saved vehicle. I'm going to delete the one I have here. So I can show you how to how I built it, uh, and then we're gonna start a. I'm gonna show show you a single player game real quick with the stock um, cars that come in the game, and then we're gonna show you how to build your own car. And the AI will actually also use your own car. So if you build it, they can have they have access to it. They can also use it, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna choose the little MG, and so uh, the two stock cars that are available under twelve thousand scraps are the uh, little mg and the timmy so we're going to go ahead and start we're going to deploy like that and it's going to drop us in and we're going to be in control of our own little cart and these other guys are also in control of their own little cart and we're going to shoot at them and they're going to shoot at us and we're actually the the fire of me shooting these uh little, little uh, machine guns here is that uh it actually pushes us back which is kind of funny um we're being pushed back by the weight of the bullets. We'll pick up all that scrap because that's a lot of scrap. And we'll turn and face this guy and we'll, we'll actually then we'll like back off of him a little bit. I can't I can't actually target him very well. They're both attacking me at the same time. This isn't good. Whoa. Okay, fell off. I fell off. Um Let's run away for a bit. And we're going to use our scrap to repair our um, cart because we're injured. We've been uh, we've been very very damaged. Three, two, one, boom! Evacuation. So now we can hit repair. We can go and repair our stuff, and we can redeploy with a fresh new paint job, and you know everything's repaired and good to go and all that stuff. And then we'll go. We can go and actually get back into the fight. Whoa! like that. And this is all cool and all, but this isn't all there is to the game. See, I'm, I'm actually, it actually destroys what you're targeting. So if I aim at his guns, I destroy his guns. It's really effective to shoot at the things you want to destroy. So if you want to blow up his ability to fight, you target his weapons. And look, he's running. He's going to evacuate now because he's afraid. And we're going to get attacked by the other guy, so we can't actually do anything about that other guy. Oh well. We're going to click end game, and I'm going to show you how to build your own car. So if you go to the vehicle editor here, there's also a multiplayer mode, by the way. That was just single player. There's also a multiplayer through internet or LAN. Uh, we're not going to show that here. But I'm going to go through and I'm going to select a chassis here. We can do small or medium. Uh, you have a certain amount of scrap. So I, on, the, on the single player, when I showed you that, if you look at the right-hand side as soon as it loads, uh, you'll see that I, you can set the amount of scrap that you're allowed to have. Max is 40,000. You can have the default here is 12,000. And this is how much scrap all these vehicles are using. Right? So if we go to the vehicle editor, we can actually create our own um, our own car. So I can start with a small chassis like that. Look around. See all the yellow points are places where you can attach parts. Kind of like, I don't know, Gal Civ 3, if you've played that. Sort of like that, except, you know, cars, I guess. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we have armor here. We can actually throw some armor on there if we want to. Um, so we got blocks. We can throw blocks on there if we need to make it bigger or extend it in some way. Anvils are good for weighing down cards in a certain way. So if we want to use a medium cockpit, uh, cockpit generates power, generates driving force, increased storage capacity. It's all really important. So if you compare, you can see that these two are identical, except this one has more storage capacity and twice as many hit points and more mass and cost twice as much so we can put that right about here right in the middle and we can also say we want to have we put we can put blocks on there if we really wanted to uh, i'm going to put some anvils on the front to weigh down the front i'm also going to put we need some cooling 
because all the stuff for, for firing is going to generate heat. We need to be able to bring down the heat. Kind of like a computer, you need to have heat sinks. Well, that's what this is. We're going to throw a heat sink, uh, two heat sinks in the back. Oh, I missed. Throw those back here. And we need an engine. How about a medium engine right back in the back here? Just like so. Also, we need some storage space. So I'm going to do a tall scrap container. I'm going to throw that in the back here. And next we have, we need a generator. I'm, I can grab this medium generator like this. I can put it on top of those, um, what are those, heat sinks? Yeah, put it on top of the heat sinks. Uh, n now we got the generating, we got the engine, we got the large heat sink, we got the two anvils on the front. We could throw some armor if we want to be, you know, if we want to really protect ourselves here. Um, but I won't do that. I'll just grab some weapons, like this medium cannon. Wow, you can actually put them on the bottom. I didn't realize you can put them on the bottom. I don't know if that's actually going to work. But I want to try it, because that's kind of what this game's all about, is trying things putting things in weird places and seeing if it actually works the way you expect it to. So I'm going to put four cannons in the front like that. Uh, and let's test it. Let's see if it actually runs. Hey! Look at that! I like it. Oh yeah, that's, if, see how the cannons are just pushing back my car? That That's some powerful cannons. Uh, got too much heat though. See, we're overheating just barely. Look how look how red the things in the front are getting. And if you if you're not oh yep there it goes explosion yeah we can't have that happening. So we're gonna have to throw another heat sink on here. How about one right in the front right in the front of the cockpit there? Let's see how that works. See if we can keep the heat down now. Oh yeah, see that keeps it cool. We have plenty of electricity, plenty of energy. We'll probably throw some more uh, cannons on here if we really wanted to. Let's see if we can get up to the 12,000 mark, but let's stay a little bit below that because that's the default. Figure it'll be fun to get right about that. And these aren't all the parts, mind you. Um, as you're playing, as you experience the game and try new things, you unlock new parts, and those new parts can be used to do to build bigger and better vehicles. So yeah, am I even going to be able to go forward? Nope, I'm 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 stuck. Yep, need more cooling. So I'm stuck. I, I can't actually have any more forward momentum with this build. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be you know have to sit in one place and blow stuff up. Uh, where are we gonna put these coolants? I feel like that's kind of exposed because they're gonna be shooting right at the front of my vehicle. I guess I can put them up here. It's kind of weird though. Up, that I guess that works. Keeps the heat down pretty well. You can see they eventually start overheating though. I want to put another one in the front. See how that works. And this this is basically the game. You iteratively you iteratively um, build on your on your car until you get it the way you want it, and then you use it and you have fun with it. So that's 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 my first little build there. I'm gonna save this thing. I'm gonna call this thing the front fire. Front fire. Okay. Cool. And next, uh, we can also say we want a where's center of mass? Oh yeah, so show center of mass right about there. Cool. Freeze physics. Link suspension. Okay. Neat. Um. So now we're going to create a new ooh, max power. I, you got all this stuff here. It's really cool. Cooling is less than max heat in, therefore eventually you will overheat. Max power out, so eventually you will run out of power. So this stuff tells you those things. I'm going to click new. I'm going to create a new, let's create a new medium style. It's bigger. It's better. It's better. It's awesome. Er. It's er to the awesome. Uh, where are we going to put the cockpit? We could throw some blocks in here to raise some stuff up. I don't know. Do we want to do that? Let's see how that would look. Extender. It's a half extender. So, uh, slope. Yeah, we don't really need that right now. Uh, how about a 2x2 two two extender? Let's put a couple of these on there. Actually, yeah, yeah, let's put a couple of those on there. And 
how about let's put it all the way in front because people are going to be shooting at our front so let's put that we'll be we'll make this kind of like a defensive model and see if this makes sense put the cockpit right behind it so it can't be shot at from any angle we need some heat sinks in the back we need a generator and an engine I like to put the, uh, the engine in the back normally, but let's put it right about there. Let's put the tall scrap container on top of the engine. Let's put the medium generator right there. And you know what? Let's move this scrap container lower. There, that looks pretty good. Where's our center of mass? Pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty balanced. Uh, let's throw some light armor on the front. I want to make this thing indestructible from the front. Actually, you know what? It'd probably be better since we're going to have uh, guns up here anyway. Let's make a bunch of small machine guns in the front. And you have to really aim these things because they're not going to they're only going to rotate up and down, so you have to aim them very carefully. So I think this one's not going to be a very good, very good machine for me, uh, but we're going to try it. So we put all those machine guns in the front. Max power out's fine. Max heat in is bad. So we need to increase that. Got to increase our cooling. So let's just stack these things up in the back. That'll keep us pretty cool. And lastly, let's throw a bunch of armor on here and just make this thing really tough to blow up. Throw it on the side of the cockpit. Uh, throw it on, on the fronts and the backs and the sides of this engine. Can't really protect that, can I? There we go. Okay. We probably want to protect these because these if these get blown up, then we lose our guns. So let's put them on the side here. Uh oh. Side, not top. Listen to me when I'm talking to you, armor. So now it's nice and armored on the sides. It's got the guns all in the front. Lots of cooling. Let's test it out. Cockpit vi front visibility 7%. Please allow 40%. Oh, I didn't think about that. See, I didn't I didn't I didn't practice this one before. Let's try that. 10%. Okay. Still not there. Let's get rid of this one. 30%. We're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Can I put this on the side somewhere? Guess we're going to have to put it on the side like that. So it can have visibility in the front. That feels vulnerable, but that's okay. Let's try that. Got guns on the side and on the top. You can see where that cluster of uh, uh, blue is. So I have to keep them, keep everything right in front. That feels kind of weak. Yeah, I feel like there's not going to be a lot of tracing. So I, I want, I want actual tracing. So we're going to switch these out. Switch them out for the uh, bigger, medium machine guns here. Looks like those are only top mounted, so we can't do the front mounted ones. And can we do medium cannons at the top of here? Can we do that? Yeah, that looks good. And we could probably take out some... Uh, we don't need as much power. We only got one generator, so that's fine. We can throw out some of these coolants. Like, at least one of those coolants. Throw out the middle one. That should be nice and cool and pretty powerful. See, that feels pretty strong. And you'll never ever heat with this build, so that one's, that one's nice. Okay, let's save this call it the armored gun uh, I'm not original today I'm sorry uh, not original any day what am I talking about let's go for a single player and we'll go ahead and load up some AI and they'll be actually using I'm gonna go easy because you know I'm not good at this game at all so they'll actually use our, our cars we just made 
So we got uh, two, three armored guns, three front fires, and a little MG. So most of the people are going to be using our 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 um our stuff here. I'm going to go with the front fire because I like I kind of like that design. And we'll go ahead and start. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I have to use the um. Whoa, that's a lot of power. We're actually knocking him around is so powerful. Blew him up. This thing is a beast. Wow. I can't go forward, but it's a beast. I feel bad for anybody who has to fight us. Alright. Come on, you can do it. Push it. Push that engine. I think I might have made this thing a little too heavy somewhere. Definitely feels like it's not going quite fast enough. Oh, they are attacking me. Blow up their uh, guns in the front. Then they won't be able to fight back. Oh, get out of the fire. Get out of the fire. They're close. I feel like this is two snails fighting. Okay, they've actually started hitting me now. Oh no. Okay, come on. Blow up his guns. Blow up his guns. There we go. I got him. I gotta get out of here. Uh-oh. Did I lose my... <gasps> I lost my engine. I have no engine. I have no... I, I'm, I'm defenseless. Can I actually self-destruct? Yeah, let's self-destruct. Change vehicle. Let's change to the uh, armored gun. Let's try to see if that one's a little faster. Oh yeah, this one has a lot more power to it. Let's see if we can actually shoot though. Definitely does a lot of damage. It feels like does a lot of damage. Whoa. Okay. Fighting myself right now. Aim for the turrets. That's where they're weak. Uh oh, oh whoa whoa whoa. Okay, you need to back off a little bit. Oh, I got him. Beautiful. Let's get over there and get all that juicy juicy scrap. So the front fire was way too heavy, so I'd have to go back to the drawing board and see if I can't container full sweep. Let's go ahead and um, take that in. I think we can like drop it off, can't we? New part available, small active cooling. Nice. So this is an example of something you unlock. You unlock as you, as you do things and you experience the game, you unlock different things and yay and awesome and everything's great. So cool. Let's get back in there. All this scrap. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Fill the burn. Fill the burn. Blow up those uh blow up those turrets. They can't fight back if they don't have uh, weapons. Oh yeah, blow them up. He's gone. He's, he's done for. Okay, grab all this scrap and take it in. Container full. Wow, already. Alright, so I gotta get all the way over to that glowy thing over there and turn in my scrap before someone attacks me. Get shot at. Get out of there. Oh no, I lost my engine. No! No! Why? Why? I don't have any power. I don't have any engine. Self-destruct. Okay, and this is basically the scraps game. You, you, you get scraps and you upgrade your thing and you do all your things with your thing and yeah so descriptive right oh no you're not getting away you're not getting away come back here he's heading for the exit okay this thing's really weak from the from the back the engine since the engines are very exposed you just shoot, shoot the back end side of this thing and they just they lose their engine they lose their cooling they lose everything so yeah, I definitely see the Achilles heel to this, this build.
Boom. Got him. Okay. Pick up the scrap. And we can go turn it in. Let's see if we can get to the evacuation point this time before we get blown up. If anybody gets behind me, I'm doomed. Okay, we're going in. We're going in. We're going to make it. Gonna jump into this little area and we'll be fine. Yay! We still got 24 minutes and 45 seconds left. But I'm gonna end it here. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Scraps. This is kind of a, uh, a fun little game. You can put together your own car and all kinds of stuff like that. It's really nice. Check out the description for more information if you're interested in seeing more about this game. You can check out their Steam page and their website and all that. So thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. And remember, keep it clean.